right, Aries, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. All right, cool, guys. Let's pop into it. All right. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Aries? The overall energy for love and romance for Aries. Okay. So you guys have mantra. All right. What is the current situation? What's the current situation with Aries? And their person of interest romantically. What's what's their current what's the current situation between Aries and their partner? Okay, we have perception. What is the block between these two romantically? What's blocking these two romantically? Okay, release. Aries, I feel like there's somebody here that needs to be let go, either on your partner's side or your side. It's like releasing something toxic or expression or letting go of some type of like harbored anger. Um, okay. What are the unknown influences here? What's an unknown influence for um, Aries and their person of interest romantically? Compassion. I love it. And what is, let me get the other guys. Hold on. Give me a sec, Aries. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to get it together to attempt. All right. What's the best potential outcome here for Aries? Get out of there. Aries and their personal person of interest romantically. Best potential outcome here. Ooh, relaxation. Okay, cool. So let's hop into it. So for your overall energy right now, we have mantra. And I feel like this is you guys reminding yourself who you are, that you are loved, that you're safe, that you're, you know, that people see you. Like there's something here where you're really telling yourself, hey, I deserve this. I, I deserve whatever love and attention is coming in. One card here for the overall energy, please, for Aries. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay. So we have the eight of cups with the moon, but they are both reversed. Okay. So why? why? Why are both of these reversed? Because of, okay, let me, let me flip it. Why are the, both of these cards reversed for, very, for their overall energy for this month? With the ten of cups. Yes. Okay. So. Here's what I think, Aries. I think that you're going into this month and I think that you're very focused on yourself and your and your well-being and where you're going. And I also think too, there is some type of expression about something being hidden. Like something's obviously coming to light here. You may um, be an Aries Pisces cut, Pisces cusp, um, because this is Pisces or Cancer. And then we have the Eight of Cups, which is Pisces energy. And that is, I think that that's Saturn and Pisces. And then we also have um, the Ten of Cups, which is Mars and Pisces. So I feel like with all this Piscean, Piscean energy, um, I probably just said that wrong. I'm just going to keep it real. But sometimes like, I can't say words. I don't know, man. Um, anyways, I talk to you guys like you're in front of me. Is that weird? Can you let me know in the comment section? Like, am I weird for that? Look, I just fucking love Aries, period. Dot, dot, dot. Um... Okay, so here's what I think. I, I, I think that whatever's been hidden here, whatever you've been hiding or whatever somebody's hiding that you originally walked away from because of the secrets, I feel like there's something here coming back up and it's going to make you really happy. There is a level of completion here. Something definitely is changing um, where you're going back to something and I also feel like this, this is a very positive energy. You know why it's positive? Because you're saying these mantras to yourself. I deserve love. I am love. I am seen. I am respected. I am. You're, you're saying these mantras to yourself. And if you're not, I highly suggest you start. Um, and what's happening here is it's changing how people view you and things that were originally hidden or emotions that were repressed are now coming up and they're being expressed. Okay, so your current situation is perspective. Why is this here? 
with the star reversed. How does Aries feel about this? The Knight of Wands. Why is the star reversed? Why is the star reversed? Because the waiting. Got it. Okay. Perspective. That's the situation. I feel like with you and your partner, um, I feel like one of you guys sees something much different. I feel like you're very different from each other. And I feel like because there is this, you know, I'm trying to remember what um, Pisces reading was, but I don't know if it's because you're close to Pisces or some of you may because you're an Aries have um, Pisces in your chart, but Pisces reading and your reading is kind of similar actually. So I feel like it's really about taking a, pers a different perspective. What is this different perspective on? The magician. Okay, some of you may be dealing with a Gemini, a Aries, a Scorpio, or possibly a Virgo. But if you're the magician, it's like you have to take a different perspective on looking at this. And I feel like part of you feels like you don't know if this relationship can sustain. We also have a Sagittarius here as well. Um, that's Moon and Sag. I think that part of you is starting to lose a level of hope with the situation because things are taking a long time to come to fruition. And I feel like you're trying to be resilient with whatever this change is but it is coming. It's like, you want this to hurry up and get there. Like you want a level of motion. Like you want some type of, um, quick movement from your person of interest. What's the stall? There is no stall, but before I asked the question, the two of cups came up. There's a uh, cancer Venus. <laughs> Look at this, Aries. Look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Empress with that. So Libra or Taurus, we also have Leo here. Here's what I think. I feel very strongly that this connection with whoever you have it with, it's probably pretty strong, but I feel like somebody's growing very impatient. And there is a lot of love here, I feel like, but the, you both look at love from a very different perspective. So for some of you guys, for instance, and it made sense. Um, I'm a water moon. Okay. So I'm a cancer moon. So if I'm dealing with somebody that let's say has a Libra moon, we take on emotions differently, right? That Libra moon is going to look at it from the perspective of a very logical place, right? Um, where a cancer, it's more emotional. It, it's cancers are going to look at it from a very emotional standpoint. And I feel like you and this person, you're trying to understand each other in order to get on the same page. But it's really about understanding each other's perspective. Oh, if you haven't already, um, please like the video. That definitely helps me. Like, share. If you haven't already subscribed, I appreciate you guys. All right. The block is a release. What needs to be released here by Aries or their partner? See, there's something, Aries, you have, you're waiting on something or there's a wait. And this is Aries in general. Okay. But what about it? What about this? It's foresight. What about this? Hold on. What about this? What do they need to release? The King of Cups. For some of you guys, you have to let go of a Scorpio or a Leo, um, possibly Cancer or Pisces as well. There is a release here. Here's this stupid ass Five of Pentacles. I hate this guy. Venus and Aquarius. How does, how does um, Aries feel about this? King of Cups. The Lovers. Let me ask one more time. Because... Sometimes when I'm pulling cards, for those of you guys that read cards, you know how you can feel the energy? Sometimes if I pull a card and it comes out, I'm like, that's not the right energy. Okay, so I put it back because maybe I wasn't focused or whatever, but I can tell. Okay, because um, there was somebody in the comment that was like, why didn't you take that card? 
oh you're lying it's just like mom i'm not lying i'm just not i'm gonna do i'm gonna read these cards how i want to read them i feel like aries you appreciate that shit because i'm trying to be extremely thorough so if you care and love this king of cups it's that lovers or another positive card is going to come out i'm just concerned with this five of swords what's being hidden there's something that you're hiding and it can be the fact that you do love this person but the hermit is here, but you feel alone right now. Maybe you and this person are not speaking. Um, or there's like a lack of communication right now because somebody is kind of like in deep thought. How does, how does Aries feel about this King of Cups? Okay. Page of Pentacles. How does Aries feel about this King of Cups? One more time. Aries feel about this. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Here's what I think. I feel like there's someone or something in your life that is creating a stall with this person and you need to let go of it. For some of you guys, it's financial. For some of you guys, I feel like it's a person that kind of likes to stop and stall things. Why is the five of swords here for Aries? Ace of wands. It's also, I feel like Aries, like... How does Aries feel about this Five of Swords? Four of Wands. Five of... Okay. So... You don't like this Five of Wands or Five of Swords. It, whoever this person is in your life or their life, your partner's life, they create a lot of challenges. Um, they affect your stability. Um... They also, I feel like, for some of you guys, they drain your bank account or there's some type of money that you're constantly throwing out to something. And I feel like this is time for you. Like, this is your stall. If, 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 you're, if this isn't a person, Aries, you're stalling the situation or your partner is stalling it because they're waiting for something. They're almost like waiting for the right moment. I'm going to go on to compassion. Okay, so unknown, unknown influences. We have compassion here. Why? King of Wands. Because here's what's not known. There is a very strong connection here, even if you guys don't see eye to eye on something. Um, one more card, please. With the Knight of Cups, how would... So you have a knight coming to a king. So Pisces or Gemini, you also have the King of Wands, so that's definitely Leo. How does Aries feel about this? How would Aries feel about this? Okay. Um, we have the Three of Cups, so Mercury and Cancer. Mercury and Cancer with compassion. So somebody with the Mercury and Cancer, they're very big on stability. They're very big on security. There's some type of reunion here. I feel like you're getting to back together, which you don't know with this person. And I feel like there's action being taken now as well as emotional fulfillment. I also feel like though, th this situation this hits home way too hard. Like this person or you for this, your person, you're in their heart. Like that's not something that they can shake. And I feel like it's finally being acknowledged here with the changes that are occurring. I feel like this is something that you've prayed for. I feel like this is something that you've actively manifested with this person. And what you don't know is it is right around the corner. Let me ask. When is it coming in? Can you give me a time frame? When is this coming in for Aries? Soon. Okay. There's going to be some type of communication on it. Somebody's going to express how they feel. Possibly within um, this week, I feel like. One more time. When When is this happening? Yeah. It, it, it It's like starting today and up to two weeks. That's how I feel. A week. A week or two. Okay. 
I know you're over there like, well, I've been waiting. I'm tired of being alone. When are they going to do the right thing? It's coming. Just give them a little bit of time. They are coming. With that being said, Aries, I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic um, holiday and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.